Welcome to Blind Abilities. I'm Jeff Thompson. Envision AI is an app that does OCR and a bunch of artificial intelligence type of features. They got a big summer sale come up and Karthik joins us in the studio to tell us all about the big summer sale. We're talking 50 to 75% off their subscriptions. That's right. 50 to 75% off subscriptions. You don't want to miss this. I also want to point out some podcasts that we just released. Job Insights, Working From Home. Yes, check it out. Serena and myself go over the pros and cons working from home and give you some great tips and some resources that you can check out on the web. Pete Lang kicked out an iPhone 101 on on text selection. It's a 101 series, some of the basic stuff, but some of this stuff is just essential, especially if you're new to the iPhone or newly blind. Check it out. That's our iPhone 101 series. Plus, we just released the Holman Prize winner, Mona Makara. Dr. Mona Makara. Awesome. Planes, trains, and canes. You want to check that out. And then check out all the podcasts that we got from the conventions this summer. Lots of great stuff. And you can find more podcasts with the Blindness Perspective on the web at www.blindabilities.com. On Twitter, at BlindAbilities. And download the free Blind Abilities app from the App Store and the Google Play Store. That's two words, Blind Abilities. So without further ado, here's Karthik from Envision. We hope you enjoy Welcome to Blind Abilities. I'm Jeff Thompson, and in the studio with me today is Karthik from Envision. How are you doing, Karthik? I'm doing good, Jeff. Doing good. How are you? I'm doing great. Summer's here, and there's also a summer sale coming from Envision. Can you tell us about it? Oh, yeah, for sure. We've been hard at work at Envision the last few months, so we've rolled out a bunch of great stuff on both iOS and Android. So we brought real-time edge detection to Android. We've got the scan and find feature that I think we spoke about last time on your podcast. So we were talking about a feature where you can scan across different objects and to be able to find them in the room, scan for people. So we've got that big feature out and we've been doing a ton of improvements under the hood. And not to mention, we also got like a lot of new languages on iOS uh, and Android, so a bunch of localization changes also as well. It's been pretty busy and uh, throughout all this, we sort of, uh, you know, kept hearing from customers feedback about pricing and feedback about different things. And we thought, you know what, it's summer and it's been a pretty nice summer for us so far. So we thought we'd want to share that with our users and that's when we thought of the summer sale. So that is offering 50% off on all the plans and 75% off on the lifetime plan, which is what people are like so going gaga over all over Twitter. Like that. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's a huge sale. Yeah. That's unheard of. Yeah, I mean, we, we've been talking to people. We've also been talking to different companies to see if there are ways for us to offer our users a better pricing with their help and so on. And this summer sale is pretty much the start of all of it. So you can expect to hear more from us on that front. But yeah, like I said, we just wanted to share all the good stuff that's been happening with our users. And we thought, what's the better way to do it than kick out a sale? So yeah, that's what we did. Can you tell a little bit about Envision AI? Now, this uses artificial intelligence along with OCR. Yeah, yeah. So Envision is basically a tool that helps you with things that, uh, you know, that you do on a daily basis. So it helps you read text, recognize faces, recognize objects and so much more. Though it does a lot of things, the stuff that Envision is really known for is its ability to read text. So we read text in over 60 different languages. So you can think of any language and we read text in that. And it also has the ability to go ahead and read really dense documents like letters and so on pretty well. So that's what users really love us for. But apart from that, we have a bunch of other stuff like being able to recognize barcodes really well, uh, being able to describe scenes. That's also something that people like to do on the app apart from just reading stuff. That's what Envision does in a nutshell. 60 different languages. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah. That, yeah, I mean, our aim from the beginning has always been to be a global app. In fact, with this sale, we're seeing huge adoption from places like Japan, where there's no other app that reads Japanese as accurately as we do currently in the market. That's what we hear from the users. So we've always wanted to be a global app. And the way we have done our app is sort of with that in mind. Even the amount of languages that the app itself is translated to. Right. We've been translated so far in 20 plus languages. And that's something that we do also as a matter of principle at Envision. So we want to be as inclusive as global from day one. And that's why you have 60 different languages. You know, we work pretty hard on that. 
Yeah. Another thing that you work very hard with at Envision is working with the communities to ensure that it is working for them. Yeah, that we do. So we actually have been listening to the community since day one. And that's something that we're going to do until the end of time, because I think we derive a lot of strength from the community. And we also get a lot of direction from the community. So when we talk to users, we know what's going wrong with the app, what's going good with the app, what they like and they don't like. So we have, for example, a feature called request a call, which allows users to request a call to us directly from within the app itself. And we try to get back to them in about a day or two. So that's the kind of community togetherness you can say that we're trying to build at Envision. And that's something that we're really proud of. And we're going to keep doing that. Yeah. And I like that. Now we can read handwriting. I mean, you've had this before, but it seems like every time I go into this, it's like there's just another little added feature or enhanced feature for people to use on a daily basis. Yeah. What we've done now is we've sort of rolled the handwriting text and the document text together in a single button. So when you actually hit the document text button now, it not just reads printed text, but it also reads handwritten text as well. And if you have a document with both handwritten and printed text, it's going to be able to read both together. So that's something that we've worked on. Yeah. Seamless. Yeah, totally seamless. So you don't even have to bother about putting a separate mode on for handwriting or trying to like, you know, separate the two. It's just going to read everything as if it's part of a single document. That's what it does. Oh, that's really neat. That's that's yeah. very innovative of you. Yeah. Yeah. What is a 1.6.5 that just came out? I know he's done music for you before or sounds with you, but Andre for the summer came out with some new sounds as well. Yeah, he did. I mean, Andre has been a big supporter of Envision ever since it's launched. And we met him when he came to the Netherlands and he was talking about how he has a passion for making sounds. And uh, we reached out to him and then we asked him if he could help us design some interesting sounds for the Envision app. So he has been designing the sounds uh, since then. And uh, then recently, when we started the idea of summer sale, we reached out to him and we said it'd be great if he could give us some sounds just for the summer sale. And he's actually done that. So the processing sound that you hear in the app right now with the waves and the beach effect that it has, that's all Andre. And he's, he's a really good musician. Yeah. 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 Andre has been around. Freaky Footh, we call him. <laughs> yeah. Freaky Footh. <laughs> Now, the way your app works in Vision AI, does it work completely offline? Is it done within or does it work with web-based? Well, it's, it's a bit of both. So Envision works offline for some features and for some features it relies you know, online. So for example, when you look at the text tab, the instant text feature can work completely offline for Latin languages like English or Dutch or German, Portuguese and so on. Whereas it requires an internet connection for you know non-Latin based languages like Arabic and Hebrew and stuff. Mm. What we're trying to do at Envision is trying to make more and more features work offline. So that's another innovation that you can expect from us in the coming months. So we're going to put more of this stuff offline. For example, the scan and find tab right now, for the most part, works offline. Like the find objects part of it works completely offline. You can put it in airplane mode and still use it. And so is the case with instant text. And we're looking to see if we can bring more of those features offline as well without compromising on accuracy. That's what we're working on. That's a, that's a big ongoing sort of product research that we do at Envision. It's getting more private and more private. Yeah, it gets more private. It, it already is private. All the online web stuff that we do, that's completely stateless. So what it means is that when you actually take a picture with Envision, Envision really doesn't store the image anywhere. We just use the image and then we discard it completely. So that's what we do. Even the way we train our AI, all that stuff is completely not done on user data. That's already there. But then when you make things more offline, it becomes faster. And yes, it gets more and more private as well. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah. This seems like a a trend for, I've seen other companies coming out with stuff, but it seems like Envision really has locked down the OCR, very good reading capabilities. I really like that. And then the scene detection to pick out items. Where do you see Envision going with with this other than improving what we already have from you where do you see you going in the next couple of years i think for envision the big focus in the next couple of years is the glasses so we are currently working on the glasses we're trying to you know talk to different partners for the glasses so you can expect envision to be pretty active in the smart glasses space because we really think that's a really good user experience for users uh, for all our users so that's something that we're going to be working towards 
And apart from that, if you just think about the app, we think there's so much more that we can add to the app itself in the next couple of years. So maybe even something like, you know, bringing something like FaceTime directly within the app itself, you know, being able to call people directly from within the app. So that's something that we're just toying around with the idea itself. So those are things that we have in the works. So there's definitely going to be some new stuff in the coming months, in the coming years. But our big focus as a company is definitely going to be the glasses. And we're starting to work on that right now. Yeah. That's the future. Karthik, how do you envision the, I didn't mean that as a pun, but how do you envision the glasses <laughs> working with the app? So right now, we're actually experimenting two or two different kinds of glasses. So one is the Google Glass, which just runs by itself. It's a standalone device, like your phone, right? Mm -hmm. Work with one such kind of glasses right now. The other glasses that we're working with is a glass that connects to your smartphone. That's pretty straightforward because all you have to do is just put a USB cable to your smartphone and then it starts working properly, right? Ah. You can just use the Envision app on your phone to go ahead and take images with the glasses or to go ahead and do stuff with the glasses. So these are the two models that we're working with right now. And we're kind of leaning towards the Google Glass kind of a model because that's less intrusive. It's less clunky, but it needs to get better. That's that's how we see it working with, with the app. And the app will always be like a companion app to the glasses. So you can probably for example teach faces with the app and that will show up on the glasses or you might do something on the app and that might show up on the glasses as well so that's what we're trying to do make the two of them work together that way oh that's cool yeah no I, what i was saying was that it's like how you use an external video camera connected to your phone right so that's how it's going to work with the glasses as well in a way pretty soon we might just have to put a little camera thing right in the center of our forehead <laughs> <laughs> yeah but like the glasses are probably what we think is the future going to be like but then yeah we're totally open to seeing how things evolve for yeah. us and for society in general it has to be acceptable and people have to like the look yeah it has to have less of a stigma i mean you don't want to wear something really clunky on your head no one wants to do that right. so it has to look good it has to also be respectful of your privacy that's also a big thing because you're wearing a camera that's always on so you have to always think about privacy so we're trying to do all of the stuff that we do in the glasses we're trying to do completely offline if possible so that's like a big area of research for us now so yeah that pretty much brings you hands-free then when you're just looking at what you want to be read to you the information exactly yeah that's exactly how we want it to be like you just set it in a particular mode like a reading mode and then you just keep walking and doing your thing and then you just keep looking at stuff and it keeps reading it out to you as in when it sees relevant information. So that's what we're going for. And uh, hopefully we'll get there. Yeah, we'll get there soon. <laughs> Now that would, in the future, that would incorporate a huge database. Well, you know, some of the new stuff that's coming out in AI right now, there are these technologies that don't rely on having a huge database to paint an accurate picture of something, right? So what used to happen was you needed like 20,000 images of a cat if you really wanted AI to recognize a cat very accurately. But the kind of future that we are seeing right now, the kind of research that is being put out right now, it favors using less data to go ahead and teach the AI better stuff and to actually do all of the teaching on the device itself. So that's oh, really? the kind of, or the algorithms that are coming out right now are all pointing in that direction because that's more privacy conscious. It also makes it possible for a lot of small devices like smart glasses to actually have AI capabilities. And that's sort of the research that we're incorporating into our own glasses or the app product that we're building right now. Hmm. Seems huge, but it seems like it's all coming together and be able to utilize and share with all the blindness yeah. community. That's awesome. I'm, I'm glad you guys are doing the research like this and doing what you're yeah. doing. So thank you. Yeah, I mean, for us, it's always been our mission to make sure that we build the best possible tools to help the visually impaired community. And we want to do that in a way that is also very affordable to people. We want to keep it as accessible as possible. So we need to look at technologies like this to actually make this stuff more accessible. That's what we're going for. You know. Great. But right now, we can all look forward to the nice discounts the big summer sale is having, right? Oh, yeah, totally. It's going to happen all throughout August. So all throughout August on both iOS and Android, going to have 50% off on the monthly and the annual subscription and 75% off on the lifetime subscriptions on both these platforms. It's going to happen. It's going to happen only once. So everyone has to just go get it now. <laughs> there you go. Well, Karthik, yeah. is there anything else you want to share with our listeners? 
you know, the last few days has been extremely humbling at Envision because uh, we saw the kind of support that we got online for the sale that we're doing right now. We've got literally hundreds of messages in the past week from users, through calls, through feedback emails. And we're really, really humbled by the whole community coming together and supporting us. We definitely have some great stuff in the pipeline on both iOS and Android. So yeah, we're super excited about that. And yeah, thank you so much for having us. And if they want to give back to you, they can reach you at Karthik at letsenvision.com. Or if that's hard to remember, you can just write to support at letsenvision.com. You can always go ahead and reach us out directly from within the app as well. So you can either request a call or send a feedback directly from within the app. So a lot of ways to reach us. All right. Well, Karthik, I got to say this again. I always love that little statement. See what you can't with Envision. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we were trying to come up with all these different taglines and we were thinking, oh, what can we do? What really reflects us as a company the best? And we ended up with see what you can't and that I think reflects what we do better than anything else. So, yeah. That's great. Well, Karthik, okay. I want to thank you very much for coming on and sharing with us the big sale. So all you listeners out there, go out, check it out on the App Store and the Google Play Store. Yeah, on both iOS and Android, 75% off on the lifetime plan, 50% off on both the plans all through August. So yeah, see you guys there. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you. Yeah, thank you so much, Jeff. Thank you. Enable the blind ability skill on your Amazon device just by saying enable blind abilities. A big shout out to Chi Chow for his beautiful music. You can follow Chi Chow on Twitter at El Chi Chow. Chi Chow. When we share what we see through each other's eyes, eyes, we can then then begin begin to bridge bridge the the gap between between the limited limited expectations and the reality reality of blind abilities. abilities. For more podcasts with a blindness perspective, check us out on the web at www.blindabilities.com, on Twitter at Blind Abilities, download our app from the App Store, Blind Abilities, that's two words, or send us an email at info at blindabilities.com. Thanks for listening.